Hello everyone. Welcome back to study tips for IGCSE Mathematics. Today's topic is related to understanding measurement. So without further delay, let's begin. Understanding unit. Visual has a 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter box and has collected a large number of 1 centimeter times 1 centimeter times 1 centimeter building blocks. He is very tidy and decides to stack all of the cubes neatly into the box. Try to picture a 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter box. The length of each side will be 1 meter, which is equivalent to 100 centimeter. The total number of 1 centimeter times 1 centimeter times 1 centimeter cubes that will fit inside will be 100 times 100 times 100 and equivalent to 1 million. The main point of this example is that if you change the units with which a quantity is measured, the actual numerical values can be widely different. Here you have seen that one cubic meter is equivalent to one million cubic centimeters. Centimeters and meters are examples of metric measurements. And the table below shows some important conversation. You should walk through the table and make sure that you understand why each of the conversation is as it is. Length and how long or tall something is. The unit that we use is millimeter, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Millimeters, the unit is mm. Centimeters, unit is cm. Meters is m. Kilometers is km. And you have to remember, one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeters. And one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. And one kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. And one kilometer is equivalent to 1 million millimeters. Mass. Mass is the amount of material in an object and sometimes incorrectly called weight. Weight, the unit that we use is milligram, mg, grams is g, kilograms is kg, and tons is t. 1,000 milligram is equivalent to 1 gram. 1,000 gram is equivalent to 1 kilogram, and 1,000 kilogram is equivalent to 1 ton, and 1 ton is equivalent to 1 million gram. Capacity. What is capacity? Capacity is the inside volume of a container and how much it can hold. The unit that we use is milliliters, centiliters, and liters. 10 milliliters is equivalent to 1 centiliters, 100 centiliters equivalent to 1 liters, and 1 liters equals equivalent to 1000 milliliters. Area. What is area? Area is the amount of space taken by a flat. Two-dimensional shapes are always measured in square units. Square millimeters represent mm to the power of 2. Square centimeters is cm to the power of 2. Square meters is meters m to the power of 2. And square kilometers is km to the power of 2 and hectare is HA. 100 millimeters to the power 2 equivalents to 1 centimeters to the power 2. 10,000 centimeters to the power of 2 equivalent to 1 meter to, to the power of 2. 1 million meters to the power of 2 equals to 1 kilometer to the power of 2. 1 kilometers to the power of 2 is equivalent to 100 hectares. So 100 hectares 1 hectare equals equivalent to 10,000 meters to the power of 2, means that meters square feet. Volume. What is volume? Volume is the amount of space taken by the three-dimensional object and always measure in cubic unit or the equivalent liquid measurement. Example, cubic milliliters, mm to the power of 3, Cubic centimeters, cm to the power of 3. Cubic meters, m 
to about 3 milliliters ml. 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to 1 centimeter to the power of 3. 1 million cm to the power of 3 equals to 1 meter to the power of 3. And 1 meter of uh, cubic meters equals to 1,000 liter. And 1 milliliter is equals to 1 centimeter to the power of 3 equals to 1 milliliter. These are the units that you have to remember when you use to measure volume, to measure area, to measure capacity, to measure mass, to measure length. I think this is all about the understanding about the measurement and the unit use. Use and equivalent to. So with that, I will end my presentation.